Who is it? It's my boy, Bugard MG. Why everyone hates Victor in Tekken 8. If you haven't subscribed to Bugard on YouTube, subscribe to Bugard. He makes awesome Tekken 8 content. Let's watch and see why everybody hates my favorite character. If you've been playing Tekken 8 recently, you've definitely been seeing this guy. I sure have. We've unfortunately been dealing with this. This. Yes. Yeah. And, oh god, this. Explosion! Being newcomers joining the series with Tekken 8's release, Victor Chevalier was initially met with an insane amount of hype with his reveal trailer in November of 2023. People yeah, praised just dope. about everything about him. His character design, that his one. moveset, his awesome looking weapons, and of course the huge news Ooh, that he would that be voiced cool. by the French actor. Hold up, let me get my French voice ready. Vincent Cassel. There were some small initial concerns Vincent about some of his moves Cassel. being just a little bit too similar to Noctis, a character from Tekken 7, who was notoriously hated. But overall, reception was very positive. So why is it now that Victor seems to be Woolen Teapot J? Thank you for the follow, bro. Welcome to the dojo, dude. Extensive research and playing a ton of high level. Listen Victor, to people I complain think I on Twitter. Nice. So let's get into it. First impressions are important, especially in online games with large communities. And I think we can all agree that the first impression of Victor, He's fighting me right now. hands on the game, was pretty <laughs> rough. He initially launched with a bugged grab that was almost impossible to break on reaction. And if we're being honest, this bug stayed in the game. I never grabbed anybody, have. so. It should have been fixed in the very first patch. I don't know why we had to wait longer than that. He was also incredibly popular when the game first launched, being the third most played character. I've in never played weeks. Sonic Mania. And that, combined with almost every Tekken content creator shitting on the character and immediately calling him super cheap and brain dead, turned Victor into one of the core boogeymen of this game. Despite this, nowadays he's considered a solid A tier. Definitely very annoying to fight, -tier. but there are honestly a lot of characters who are way better and way more annoying. So where did all this complaining about the character come from? And why was everyone playing him when the game first launched? Because everybody well, just says you match question, two with him. We need to take a look at his moveset. Frustrating that, movement. This character had a lot going I don't like Sonic too Huge much. I think he's all right. I like the old Sonic. Can't be parried like retro Sonic. Guy. And a bunch of the newer Sonics are weird. Setups that served as incredible noob checks, which is also why Victor had a very high win rate at the beginning of the game. It didn't take long for people to find some pretty insane moves in his kit. So let's start by looking at one of his defining attacks in this game, being his back 1 plus 2. This yeah. move destroys people in low to mid level. Yeah, it's an incredibly it's... fast, safe, power crush, heat engager with ridiculous range, yeah, that's a good move. damage, and wall splats. Yeah, that's a lot of traits for just one move. Power crush moves have always been strong since their introduction in Tekken hey, 7, listen. but here in Tekken 8, JD Shay HD, thank you for the follow, bro. Welcome to the dojo, dude. Generally a bad decision. Power crush heat engagers should be at least a little bit more risky than normal ones. Sorry if I Maybe botched minus your name. 10 or so on block, just so a little bit more thought would have to be used when using these moves. But they're highs, right? Just duck and launch. Well, this is the problem with Victor's back one plus two. It comes out at 15 frames, so it's already decently hard if to duck. If you duck, duck the startup animation and try to punish. Range, and seriously, look at this range. And very fast recovery time, it becomes yeah, super difficult well, to punish this move, even if you do duck it. Its startup is also ridiculous. 15 it's a good move to use. too fast for a move that does this much. And if you watch the average Victor player, <laughs> they know exactly how broken this move is and get huge I've never, I don't even this move just know how to do that and move. And it factors into a lot of his flow charts and setups, which we'll be discussing later. But what other insanely strong and annoying moves does Victor have? have. In my opinion, this next move we're about to talk about is the biggest problem in his moveset, and his strongest move by far. Hit wow. while running two. This move is just unfair. It oh has yeah, huge I love range, that one. It's plus five on block, <laughs> does a lot of chip damage, great and move. is very difficult to sidestep, and is also a counter hit launcher. Saying this move controls the neutral is an understatement, and the plus five it gives on block sets up some insane frame traps and flow charts. Who am I kidding? They all just spam immediate back 1 plus 2 after hitting it. Or their safe 1 plus 2 counter hit launcher that actually trades with jabs in this interaction, giving a guaranteed launch. I think this while running 2 is simply too oppressive and desperately needs to be toned down. Oh. There's no reason for a move like this to I gotta this learn much track. It just becomes one of the most spammy it's moves crazy. in the game. And to round out the trifecta of Victor's most annoying moves, you already know what's coming next. What else can I say about this move that hasn't been said yeah. already? Honestly, not much. Explosion. Up 1 plus 2 in heat is ridiculous. It's super safe on block, does over 50 damage on hits, and is arguably one of the most evasive moves in the game. He literally disappears in the animation. This move is 24 <laughs> Yeah, but if they hit you coming down, you get hit. Very hard to that avoid. hurts. If you predict his a lot. timing, you can sidewalk this right, but you have to commit or to Or you it. can hit if while he's coming down. If you stop the sidewalk down. at any point during the animation because you think you're out of the blast radius, you just got hit and took 50 damage. If you think you're far enough away from him and are out of range, you're not. you just got hit by the move. And, <laughs> and if he lands a heat engager and you just 
decide to block, he's able to do three of these attacks before he runs out of heat, doing over 70 damage in chain. Yeah. This is pretty ridiculous. It is. Sorry to interrupt the video really quick, but if you guys are enjoying this video and want to support more scripted Tekken 8 content, as well as my dreams to hopefully one day do this as a job, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's do it. Do, and you can always change your mind later. It really goes a super long way, as only about 11% of my viewers. Help out, Boogard. Thank you guys so hey, much. Hey, his graph people. went up, though. You've seen that? Where it feels his like graph came up. Stand still all the time. With Help out, Boogard. And when he's in heat, his up one plus two, and just eat the chip hey, damage. Listen. And honestly, even though these three moves oh, are seen as his worst offense, that real? Tons of other stuff that just makes him that really real? frustrating to fight against. Tell me. I mentioned earlier, but he has huge range on a bunch of his key tools, and this sets up a bunch of his setups so well. Take a speaking chat, you. Too. A normal hit launcher with huge range that while being minus 16 on block has such big pushback that a lot of characters aren't even able to punish it. And if you do try and punish it, you're going to eat the back one plus two that they always use when they think you're going to press. Seriously, this forward forward. I don't use it though. He also has a ton of stance pressure and gimmicks. Oh, Victor really decided to spam you again? W Tekken and 8. In the oh, yeah. Community, that never helps when it comes to hating a character. Victor is a we, uh, of we play sometimes. To be a broken sometimes. Character to be hated by the community. When you get down to it, there's a ton of characters who are way better and more. Like we'll end up playing Victor tomorrow, has probably. Pretty weak lows, and a lot of his string pressure. He are does have weak lows. Or have some other clear counterplay or option select that once you take the. Time but the weak the lows can it, transfer into a good but combo. I think it's the combination of the gimmicks and these oppressive moves that I mentioned earlier that just makes. Yeah, it exactly. Fighting him. You're absolutely right. If it was right. just a pure matchup check, he'd be garbage, and people would just learn these simple gimmicks and beat him easily. But like another character in the game, that being Alyssa. These two characters Alyssa? have a perfect combination you mean of Alyssa? moves with little to no counterplay <laughs> and Alyssa. gimmicks that you need to learn. So people just end up losing motivation and writing the character off as cheap and unfair, instead of actually learning what they can do. Because even though these characters are very oppressive, like pizza there did. are stuff you can do and should learn if you want to have a better chance against pizza them. Pizza went and learned my character, so he beat me every time. So much is his difficulty. It seems like most Tekken players are more forgiving about a character having broken moves and attributes when they're difficult to play. Characters like Zhao Yu, Yoshimitsu, and Huarang immediately come to mind. Yeah. But Victor being so simple to play in pilot pretty much means that anyone can pick him up and play with a decently high level of efficiency, compared to other characters who need way more time and practice to start cheesing people. With all this being said, Victor is- Thinking of getting it, but I'm waiting for a sale because the price is just not- like Yeah, no, it's like 70 bucks though, isn't it? I do think his it? play rate is going to drop a significant amount. It will. more people move to other easy options who are just stronger. Yeah. But in all honesty, I'm rooting for Victor. Even though he has Thank stuff you. That I definitely don't agree with, I really do love his character design. And Thank you, Bugar. Season, when they decide to add some more moves and tone him down more. Hopefully they can really hone his identity in the future. And hopefully oh, I gotta learn how to do that back kick. His that negative dope. reputation will ease up a little bit. But yeah, it really is kidding? crazy. The Tekken community never forgets. So maybe Victor is doomed to be hated forever. He probably but will be. If you're a Victor loyalist and love the character despite it all, you have my respect. Thank you, Bugard. Anyway, that's about all I have. Yeah, Bugard respects me. This character. Do you disagree <laughs> and think he's a perfectly designed character? Or do you agree with the hate? And think it's all super. I know. I gotta. I, I have to actually down there chatting with try you it. Always. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. It's honestly Do such it. a huge help, and it helps me know that you like really want to Bugard's see video. Like subscribe. This. Also, a quick shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. Thank you guys so much. Your support really, really means the world to me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Take it easy. You take it easy, Bugard. You have a beautiful day. Subscribe to Bugard. That was a great video. I'm so happy that he's not like everybody else who hates Victor for absolutely no reason. I'm so happy.